So the first story is where Jesus is in the boat with the disciples and they're heading off across the water. And uh, across the way, this comes from Mark chapter 4, verse 35. And as evening came, Jesus said to his disciples, let's cross to the other side of the lake. So they took Jesus in the boat and started out, leaving the crowds behind, although other boats followed, which is an interesting little thing that sometimes we miss. But soon a fierce storm came up, high waves were breaking into the boat, and it began to fill with water. Now Luke adds a little bit there, in because the, the, the story is in the Bible like three times, and Luke adds a little bit, and they were in real danger. What do you say? Real danger. Real danger. Real danger. Okay, so this is not fake danger. This is not, it's not pretend danger. Luke has identified that it is that they are in real danger. Now, Jesus was sleeping in the back of the boat with his head on a cushion. And the disciples came to him and uh, tapped him on the shoulder. No, they didn't. The disciples came to him shouting. Who likes to be woken up by someone shouting at you? Wake up. Just you know, show hands here. Uh, the disciples came to him shouting, Teacher, wake up! We're about to die. Don't you care? Don't you care? We're going to drown. And when Jesus woke up, he rebuked the wind and the waves. And it died down straight away. And then he asked them, Why are you afraid? Do you still have no faith? Now, right there, there's a little bit of a, a rebuke, isn't there, with, with Jesus. Um, and I, I often find that the rebukes of Jesus hold my attention because I've grown up knowing the love of Jesus and, and, and we love that. We love that aspect of Jesus. But we also need to take notice of the rebukes of Jesus. And so Jesus rebukes them and he said, Why are you afraid? Do you still have no faith? There he was asleep, and he's challenging them. Do you still have no faith? In other words, I've spoken to you about this before, guys, and uh, I want you to have faith. And you are still struggling in that. And now, verse 41, the disciples were absolutely terrified. Luke adds a little bit more once again. And amazed. So I were absolutely terrified and amazed. And they asked this question. And I've subtitled this one, Two Big Storms, Two Big Questions. And the big question is, Who is this man? They asked each other. Even the wind and the waves obey him. Who is this man? Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Didn't the disciples just wake Jesus up uh, to save them? Don't you care? But and yet they're still asking this question: Who is this man? 